Um, to be honest, I think it's um, it's always exciting to be in this environment, and uh, it's good to see the girls coming in. And, uh, obviously, we want them to feel comfortable and really just doing the best they can. And at this point, it's about doing you know a whole lot of work in terms of combinations and um, the structure of how we want to play. And I really think that everyone is stepping up um, on their roles and it's going to be quite a tough one because we don't have enough time to work on certain things which we probably then have to expect, you know, like everyone to really just switch on when they need to. Uh, but to be honest, I have to say it's been going well and the most important thing is the mood at camp. Um, I think so far it's, it's just everyone is excited and just want to play. Oh, most definitely. I think um, uh, we have such a great um, squad in the national squad. If you take out the fact that uh, Spa Proteus and President 12 had to split up at this point, I think uh, now that everyone is um, quite aware of where they're going to be competing for which team, um, it's definitely exciting to then see uh, who fills in what space after obviously all the players that play in their respective leagues overseas are not available and I know we spoke about this before as well depth in our country is probably one of the most important thing that needs to happen at this point and not just for the World Cup that we're hosting in 2023 but uh, we have Commonwealth Games as well next year and that doesn't come the connections and the depth doesn't come overnight and I think this is the great time to really just prepare quite glad that even the President 12 is not going home at this time, which is what's usually happened. You select the spa proteas and if you didn't make it, you'll go home. And I think this just, um, it's going to just give each and every girl at a national level performance, if I can put it like that, to be able to still um, compete and uh, just show what they're capable of doing. Because long term, you kind of, you don't know what's, what's going to happen and you really have to have those uh, positions um, you know, should anything happen, someone need to take uh, the space. And I think we are at a better position at this stage. Probably the hustle will be now combination wise, uh, probably, you know, the structure in the teams and uh, to, that still needs to be worked on. But I guess that's uh, going to take a little bit of time. Hopefully now with this uh, spa challenge, we're going to see it coming through because it has to come through one way or the other. Almost definitely. I think it was uh, probably one of the best uh, thing that could happen. I think um, at this point, like I said, we all more or less at the same uh, position at this stage. It's about who pulls it through uh, when it matters and who gets what's upper hand. And uh, it's really is great that we all are here and we can play against each other. Um, again, even after the game, I said, it's just awesome to see that we're all here and we're all just wanting to push each, push each other, you know, for the best of not what's going to happen now only, but uh, for the best of our country and netball going forward. So uh, it was quite a great match to say, especially at the beginning of the game, really nice and intense and it's what you would want um, probably to compete against going into such a tournament. Uganda, Namibia, can't underestimate uh, them coming to us and obviously they are African countries and we all know, yeah, gosh, there's lots of work you have to do if you have to win games against them. And I think what happened today uh, and the game itself, it actually set that tone. And um, I think as the Spa Proteas, we're quite grateful that um, we can get these game times with the President 12. And um, yeah, and then just see where we act and start playing a whole lot of combinations, which was what we were able to do today. Um, looking forward, I think, to tomorrow. Again, we, we're going to have a, another match um, against each other. So these preparations, I would say, they're probably the best of what we need before going into the Spa Challenge at this point. Oh, look, most definitely, I think we want to go for a win. And um, besides going for a win, I think that alone is just going to give confidence to the girls that are stepping into, obviously, certain positions. And I'm saying this, obviously, they're not here and I don't want to uh, scare them in terms of, you know, what's the expectation. We don't speak like that. What we say is uh, we have to perform as a team first and eventually the results sort itself out. And I think at this stage, uh, what we're doing uh, as a team is actually aligning to our goal of having to play some great netball and then eventually obviously we want to win and um, I think continu continuing in where we finished I think with the uh, Malawi last year is going to be very important obviously it's hard to expect that to just happen with the uh, obviously uh, new team new players coming in but myself have no doubt on uh, on the uh, caliber of players that we have that we can continuously uh, 
gave some great performances and hopefully to win the series. So we're just looking forward to that. I think great performances as a team, connections really coming through as we go. Sometimes I know it's going to build as the tournament goes, but we're really looking forward to that first. And then, um, like I said, just winning the, um, the Spa Challenge.